Hi, I'm Daniel Dixon with freeaccountingschool.com. Today we're going to answer the following questions. What are the three main categories of accounting accounts? What is an asset? What are asset accounts? What is a liability? What are liability accounts? What is accounts payable? What is owner's equity? And what are owner's equity accounts? Okay, so that's a lot to cover, so let's get started. What are the three categories of accounting accounts? And the answer is asset accounts, liability accounts, and owner's equity accounts. There are also some subcategories under the owner's equity type of accounts, but we'll learn about those subcategories in another lesson, in the next lesson actually. Okay, so what is an asset? Well, an asset is something the business owns, including money. Some examples are cash that you, the business has in the bank, or equipment, could be trucks, or inventory, or computers. You get the picture. Other types of assets are like intellectual property, such as copyrights or franchise rights. We'll learn about those in another lesson. So what are asset accounts? Well, simply put, asset accounts are accounting accounts that have a record of what stuff the business has and what its dollar value is. So there's different accounts for all these different kinds of assets. So let's do an example. Let's say you own a small car dealership. What are some asset accounts you, would, uh, you might have for this business? Well, one account you probably have is an account that kept track of all the cash that you have in the bank. Hopefully this business is successful and you have some cash in your bank. Um, another example you might have is an account that tracks the value of the cars that you have at uh, the lot. And it might be called inventory, it might just be called cars. Um, there is some flexibility in double entry accounting you can name the accounts what you want as long as they make sense. Another example might be uh, you might have an account called land or you might call it just parking lot if you own the land that you're running the business out of. Okay, next question. What is a liability? Well, a liability is a debt that the business owes someone. Um, some examples are um, bank loans or car loans or unpaid payroll or any other unpaid bill that bills that are due to vendors such as unpaid electricity bills or unpaid mortgage bills or uh, phone bills, anything that's not paid but is, is due. Okay, and what are liability accounts? Well, liability accounts are uh, accounting accounts that have a record of what the business owes others. So numerous different accounts that keep track of all the different debts that you have for your business. Um, Let's go do some examples of that. Again, go back to the car dealership. Um, what are some liability accounts you might have for this business? Well, um, one account you might have is mortgage payable. If you, uh, let's say you borrowed money from the bank to buy the lot, the parking lot where you sell all your cars out of. Well, you might have a mortgage with the bank, so you'd have an account to keep track of what you owed on that mortgage. That'd be called mortgage payable. Another example is maybe um, to get started in your business you borrowed ten thousand dollars from your uncle Fred and you still owe him ten thousand dollars well you might have an account that is separate just for this uncle Fred loan to keep track of how much you owe uncle Fred and how much you have paid back another account that you might have is called accounts payable and um, this is kind of an important account that you're going to use uh, pretty often in your business so let's talk a bit more about, about that. What is accounts payable? Well, accounts payable is a liability type of account that you use in your accounting system that's used to record the bills or the liabilities that are due within 30 days. So uh, for example, um, when the phone bill comes, let's say that you get the phone bill in the mail and you decide you're not going to pay it right away. Well, you should record the fact that you now have this debt that's due and let's say you know you have 20 days to pay it and um, you're just going to wait maybe 15 or 16 days and then you'll pay it then. Well, you might record in accounts payable that you have this um, phone bill that is going to be due in the next 30 days. Or here's another example, let's say you get an electric bill and the payment isn't due for 25 days, um, you would also record that in accounts payable. And we'll do some um, real life examples of what it would be like to use accounts payable in a future lesson. Oh, that's just showing that there's lots of different other kind of bills that are due within 30 days that you have in your business. 
Okay, so what is owner's equity? Um, owner's equity is the dollar value of the part of the business that belongs to the owner. So if you, uh, so it's the dollar value of the part of the business that belongs to the owner if you shut the business down. Or in other words, it's the dollar value of the assets of a company that the owner really has rights to. Because if you think about it, if you shut the business down and you sold everything that's in the business, well, if you're the, if you're the only owner in, the, in that business, you don't get to keep all the money from all the stuff that you sold because first you have to pay back all the people that you owe money to. So you have to pay off all your debts to everybody. And then whatever is left over, that's what you get to keep. And so that dollar value is what owner's equity is. Really, it's, it's the amount that really belongs to you of the assets in the business. Okay, so what are owner's equity accounts? Well, owner's equity accounts are the accounts in an accounting system that explain why owner's equity has either increased or decreased. So these, these accounts show how much owner's equity is and it tracks all the increases and the decreases. Okay, what are some examples of owner's equity, owner's equity type of accounts? Well, one would be utility expenses, another one would be sales revenue, rent expense, capital stock, retained earnings. If you don't know what capital stock or retained earnings are, don't worry about it. We're going to learn about more about those in future lessons. But let's go through an example so you can get a little flavor of how an owner's equity account might work. Assume your business receives a phone bill for $75 and you're going to pay this right away. You're not going to use an accounts payable account like we talked about earlier. You're not going to use that account. You're just going to get out your checkbook and you're going to, you're going to pay it right away and uh, you know, fill out the check and send it to the, um, electric or the phone company right away. How would you re record this in your accounting system? Okay, so first you would go to your accounting notebook and you'd go to the page that has the account cash in bank. Now, why am I choosing the account cash in bank? Well, because when you write a check, like in this example, you're gonna send a check for $75 to your phone company. Your phone company is gonna take that check and go to their bank then their bank is going to contact your bank and get that $75 out of your bank. That's why I chose the cash in bank account because they're eventually the $75 is going to come straight out of my bank account. Okay, and this is an asset type of account. And to show a decrease in an asset, you make a credit entry. So that's why we're going to write $75 on the right side of our T account over here. Okay, then the next account we're going to go to is called utilities. This is where we uh, keep track of all the expenses in our, um, all the utility expenses in our business. Maybe all the phone bills and the electricity bills and the gas bills and water bills, that kind of thing. You know, some businesses keep track of all those different type of uh, expenses in their own separate accounts. But in, in this business example I'm giving you, we just have one account called utilities. Okay, and utilities is an owner's equity account and um, this account does two things it tracks the utility expenses in our business like you know like I said when we make electricity bills or phone bills and it shows us the effect that these expenses have on our owners equity okay so we're gonna show that we lost because we lost $75 that we just paid to the phone company we're gonna show that we have $75 reduction to our owners equity and to show that, we do a debit. And we do a debit of $75, and to do a debit, we make an entry on the left side of the T account. So again, this entry here on, in the cash and bank account is showing that we are decreasing the amount of cash we have by $75. And this entry over here is showing that we have a decrease of owner's equity of $75, and it's also telling us that we have an increase in expenses of $75. It's really explaining why we lost $75 at, out of our bank account. Okay, so let's review. The three main types of accounting accounts in a business are assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Okay, that's it for today. 
Thank you for joining me. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up in YouTube or leave a comment or become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to see more of my free accounting videos, go to freeaccountingschool.com.